Hi all, welcome to this video. In this video, I am going to explain two topics. First one is what is HTML and second one what is the structure of HTML. So what is HTML? HTML is used for designing or creating web page or websites. In our daily life, we have searched many websites such as college websites, school websites, etc. A website is a collection of interrelated web pages. And a web page is a content that can be displayed on a web browser such as Mozilla, Internet Explorer, etc. So these web pages are created by using a markup language called HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And a hypertext refers to the way in which web pages are linked together. Hyper means navigation from one location to another location. In other words, by, a, by clicking a text on a web page, it takes up to another web page. And as name suggests, HTML is a markup language, which means you use HTML to simply mark up a text document with the tags that tell a browser how to display the content. Generally, HTML is a collection of these type of markup tags. In each tag tells the browser how to display the content. HTML also describes the structure of a web page. Now let us see the history of HTML. HTML was created by Tim Berners-Lee in 1991. And the first ever version of HTML was HTML 1.0. But the standard version was HTML 2.0. Later HTML 3.2, 4.01, HTML comes. The latest version is HTML5. I will explain all the programs based on HTML5. Now see the a simple home page. This is a Christ College home page. A Christ College website not only consists of a home page but it also consists of another web pages. And every web page is different from one another but every web page follows some general structure. This is a general structure of HTML. Every HTML web page contains many HTML elements. HTML elements provides instruction to the browser how to display the content. Technically, an element is a collection of start tag, attributes, end tag and content between them. This is the syntax of a HTML element. First is Start tag that means less than symbol, element name, attribute, it is an optional value, an attribute equal to value, content and closing tag. For example, this structure contains many HTML elements. First element is the doc type. Every web page should start with the HTML doc type element. HTML doc type tell the version of HTML. After writing the doc type, we must open the HTML root tag. HTML root tag contains the every code used for writing the HTML web page. And the HTML root tag contains two parts, head part and body part. For example, this home page contains two parts. This is the body part. Body part contains the actual content. And this is the head part. Head part contains the metadata of your web page. Metadata means data about data. That means additional information. For example, if you want to insert a title to your web page, then that information is provided under the title tag of the head tag. So head tag contains the metadata information. Not only the title information is provided, but we can provide some style information uh, in the head tag. After closing the head tag, then we must open the body tag. Body tag contains the actual content. Here H1P, there are two elements are provided. H1 means a heading and P means a paragraph. And writing them all the contents, we must close the body tag. And after closing the head tag and body tag, then we must close the HTML root tag. So this is the general structure. First, first write the doc type 
and next h tag root tag is opened head tag and body tag is written and after that h root tag is closed so html web page consists of many html tags there are two types of html tags first one is container tag and the second one is empty tag container tag contains some contents also known as a paid tags since it has both opening and closing tags for example the title tag of your html web page consists of a title of your web page but some tag has only opening tag such tags are called as empty tag it is used for some special purpose for example if you want to insert a line break between content of your web page then we use br tag also there are ht hr tag is used for horizontal line so there are two types of tag empty tag and container tag now i will show a simple example this example consists of a head part and body part the head part contain a title introduction to html is a title and the body part consists of a three tags h1 tags p tag and br tag h1 is used for heading we can use h1 to h6 tags for heading h1 provides a large size heading and h6 provides a small size heading and p tag is used for paragraph b tag is used for line break this example produce an output like this format and a head title title is the introduction to html and the content contains two parts a heading and a paragraph so this is simple example like this example we can create many html web pages for this we must study about html tags so html tags is used for designing html web pages so thank you for watching this video 